Greetings, and welcome to episode 25. We've all talked about, heard about, and experienced the spiritual path and all its wonders. But rarely does anybody ever talk about the downside. So, in today's episode, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Let's get started. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, the downside. Uh, to sum it up, I'm going to quote someone. I rarely quote in any of these videos. As a matter of fact, I've never quoted in any of these videos. But uh, this is a quote by Alan Watts. He says, You cannot grow more sensitive to all the pleasures without also being more sensitive to all the pain. And that is exactly what the downside is. That's just a summary. I like a, a general generalization. But to expand on the notion or the idea, my own experience, first starting off walking the path, you start seeing the world differently. And I was seeing the world so differently that I thought I was going crazy. And I mean, it took years to figure out that I wasn't going crazy. I was just waking up. And it wasn't me that was crazy. It's the world around me. Now, if you're waking up, people notice that you're waking up and they might not recognize it as such but they'll see a change in you and they'll think you're acting weird and they think you're acting strange and they'll call you out on acting strange and the first instinct most humans have is to abandon the path because it's just wow it's just it's too much of a stretch for them to not go along with what everybody else thinks. And I never left the path. I don't think for a minute I didn't think about it. And this is before any of the world's wonders were revealed to me. This is just the beginning of the path. You wonder, you know, is it worth it? I got to give up all my friends? And just. As you get older, you start to learn that the people that fell away were going to fall away anyway. That's just a fact. Because your journey is for you. And if they hadn't fallen away because you woke up, they would have fallen away because you would have eventually grown apart anyway. And that's kind of what happened to me, but not completely. And, I don't know, it seemed to me that I should stick to the path, and I stuck to the path. And I must have put out, I must have been putting out a vibe that said, I don't need certain types of people, or I don't need certain people in my life. And th these are the people that fell away. And I don't mean people you fall out of touch with because you move. I mean people that are in your immediate circle and then suddenly they're just not there anymore. When you start making these changes, these positive changes and correcting your behavior, the way you see the world, uh, it's too much for some people. They don't want to get out of their little comfortable little niche. And there you are standing up in a world that says everybody crawl. You know, or everybody lie in their belly. <laughs> uh, so you're, you're walking your path. And it's not just that. That's just the beginning. Sticking to the path takes a certain amount of integrity. Once you know, you can't unknow. 
and when you go against it you know it just it makes you feel it makes me feel sick to my stomach when I go against something I know is the right way to do it and it took a lot of practice to just muscle through it and it took a lot because sometimes you'll be at work and be expected to turn back on yourself and people can't understand well how come you don't act like that and oh, I've lost many a job because I didn't fit in because I didn't live my life the way everybody else did it's, it, it's ridiculous because I choose to live my life with integrity there's certain things I will not do but everybody else is doing it and then they come across with the attitude what do you think you're better than me no but you seem to think so or you would not have said that and so you're put in the precarious position of selling out Jesus for 30 pieces of silver or sticking to the path I've always stuck to the path there's nothing I can do with that silver in the long run. Oh, you could buy a house, you could buy a car, you could, and then that stuff. None of that stuff comes with me. The only things that go with you when you transition from living form of energy to a non-corporeal form of energy, the only things that come with you are the things that you've learned your life experiences these are the only things that go with you that 30 pieces of silver will never cross over with you that car will never cross over with you that house and it is it's a downside it can affect it has affected my unemployment we'll say people say well can't you, can't you just bend it a little bit well here's the thing if you could bend it or break it, it wouldn't be called integrity. It's just, it's a fact. <laughs> it would be called fair, the fair weather path. <laughs> when it's okay, follow the rules. No. If you could bend it or break it, it wouldn't be called integrity. And yes, I've lost jobs for sticking to my guns. I cannot overstate that the downside to the spiritual path exists and it's very real for all the hundreds of thousands possibly millions of us that are awake on this planet we're just dropping the bucket to the seven billion people that are here and most of the people in my circles don't walk the same path I do That's part of the reason why I started making these videos, is actually for the people in my immediate circle, the people on my friends list, on my social networks, on my Facebook. None of them watch it. I mean, a very, very few, maybe five or six people watch my videos on my Facebook. But I'm thankful that the people that are watching are watching even if they've only watched one video it puts the seed in the head to maybe look for mo something more as I've stated before these videos aren't monetized I'm doing this as of right now still for free my channel is what a month and a, a month and a half old month and a week not very old at all so I'm not expecting monster views and videos going viral <laughs> what I am expecting is people coming and getting an understanding I expect to be taking on new recruits and preaching to the choir and I used to poo poo preaching to the choir I don't want to watch that you know you, you hear someone else speaking I already know all that stuff I already know all that stuff but preaching to the choir is very significant because a you may know that stuff, but you don't know it from that perspective because you've never heard that person talking. Or maybe you have, but they didn't talk about that. Okay? And the other aspect to that is it helps to reinforce the things you already believe. It helps you 
when you know somebody else sees the world the way you do. But I don't double back because, well, society doesn't find it. I don't give a damn what society finds acceptable. Society only finds things... <laughs> Can't talk. Society only finds these things acceptable out of habit. Years and years and decades and decades of repetitive motion through life. And then when they see you not fitting in the way they do, they turn on you. Well, you got to do it this way. Why? Because you're miserable? I got to be miserable? No thanks. I'll pass. I will pass. You want to live small-minded with a narrow vision? You do that. You want to live and feel like you're worthless and nobody because you didn't get that top paying corporate job? No thank you. A, I am not and you are not what you do for a living. That is how you pay for the life you're living. And granted we spend the majority of our time at work, but that still doesn't make that who you are. I go shopping sometimes. That's not who I am either. You are not what you do unless what you do is who you are. In other words, what do you do when you're at home on your free time? You're a musician? Then that's probably what you are. You're an artist? Then that's probably what you are. Do you just sit around playing video games? That's who you are. Not the person at work. People say, well, why don't you watch sports? I, I, I don't feel the need to watch sports. I don't even watch television. My television's hooked up to my video game consoles and one of my computers. We don't even watch television. Gasp! <laughs> <laughs> People say, well, well, you play video games, what's the difference? Well, video games are 100% interactive. They require abstract problem-solving skills and hand-eye coordination. In other words, you're using your brain. You're not just letting this thing turn your brain into mush with the, whatever goes on on there. I don't watch it anymore. It's just, yeah. That's like people say, don't drink fluoride. <laughs> but to turn on the TV don't eat that aspartame but to turn on the TV that shit's fluoride and aspartame for your brain for your IQ <laughs> for every minute you watch that reality show because we all know reality works that way <laughs> you lose an IQ point I guarantee it what's called the boob tube it make you dumber people actually believe that what goes on on the TV is how life actually works and then they get out and complain because life ain't working the way it was on TV <laughs> that's why I don't mind a science fiction show or a comedy because we all know that's not how life is but people will actually get out there and know what life ain't like on TV. And then they'll say, and it's all your fault. <laughs> we, they run around blaming one another for life not being like on TV. It's supposed to be cushy and sweet. We're all supposed to get what we want. No, no. <laughs> and then when you don't live that way, first thing out of their mouth, what do you think you're better than me? <laughs> no, but obviously you do, or you wouldn't have said that. <laughs> Some days I just want to say, yeah, I think I'm better than you. No, what are you going to do? <laughs> but, you know, we all want people to like us, so we say, no. <laughs> Why no? That's not the case at all. <laughs> Uh, let's face it. Some days when you're around certain people, you if you're on the path, you ain't got to be on the path. Some days you just feel better than others. It's a fact. A polite and modest person will downplay that because we know better. We're not more important or better than anybody. 
but you're walking around asleep and I'm not and you're getting butt hurt because I'm awake like I granted some special privileges because I'm awake and can see the world the way it really is no you don't get you know there's special privileges that depth of beauty of understanding that depth of wisdom you know what those what I get the special abilities I get from that I get to live with the pain of seven billion people sleep on the planet I get to live with the fact of knowing that if these people would just wake up we could fix everything I get to live with the fact that because you want to go home and watch sports because you find your comfy chairs and cold beers more important than your fellow man the human race moves nowhere we're, we're s stuck with the task now of getting the word out per person to wake up individuals instead of the entire population. And not because they don't want change or want to wake up, but because they're comfy. I set up this nice little life when I got a big screen TV and a nice house and a car. And if I wake up, I might lose it all. I'm going to tell you, the path integrity <laughs> is not at all lucrative <laughs> the only way I'm going to make any money walking the path and maintaining my integrity is when I finish my books and get them published or if I start monetizing these videos otherwise I have lost more jobs than I have made money being spiritual fact And people never want to talk about the downside. Oh, we don't want to scare people off. No, I'm going to tell you the truth. What am I going to take you skydiving and not tell you that possibly your chute might not open and you might bounce a couple of times when you hit? <laughs> I'm going to tell you everything. That way, when your chute doesn't open and you bounce a couple of times when you hit and live. <laughs> You can't say you didn't tell me. No, I'm going to tell you. It sucks sometimes to walk the path and be open and feel the pain of others and know that 95% of their pain and suffering is self-inflicted. And I'm not talking about the intensity of the pain. I'm talking about the ails they suffer are 95% self-inflicted. And I can only help with the 5%. No matter how deep that pain is, I can help. But as long as they remain asleep, there's nothing I can do for them. Because some of those deep, some of their deepest pains stem from being asleep in the first place and making bad decisions. And then you have the things that they had no effect you know, they couldn't affect one way or another. Like, it happened to a friend of theirs, and they, you know, a great outpouring of sympathy and support. But those things happen in everyone's lives. Everyone's. Even I've lost family and friends. But I whittled down the problems I make for myself to an extent. Because, like I said, having integrity creates a bunch of problems in and of itself. But that's only because you're trying to live your life in a fashion that it almost seems like the universe itself is saying, this is the appropriate way to live. While everyone else is going along with what is culturally and socially acceptable. And even though you'll get and you have these deep conversations with your friends and they'll tell you they think it's bullshit and they'll run right out the door and fall fast to fucking sleep and start sleepwalking and do exactly what they were just railing against a minute ago. I'm so deeply spiritual and I love Jesus or Buddha or whoever, but Black Friday, yeah, and they're on the video, right there, right there, that's him. <laughs> they didn't actually participate in the whooping. 
but they were there. That's just, wow, really? No half-stepping. You can't be lukewarm. You can't expound about the path and the beauty of, of love and this and that and then go participate in some cultural degradation on that level. <laughs> Everyone has to go shopping, okay? I am not yet in a position where I can go out into the wilderness and hunt for my food. Okay, so I have to go to the supermarket and get these brands that I know are made by companies that I don't trust and that are poisoning me. But I'm certainly not going to trample someone to death or beat them up because they grabbed something I wanted or grabbed the last one. But I'm going to be viewed as the bad guy. What you mean you wouldn't there on Black Friday? <laughs> My favorite. You don't watch sports, really? No, dude, I just, I don't watch TV at all. Oh, I don't have the heart to tell him. I think this shit's all fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Might shatter their illusions. And that's what it is. You can't shatter my illusions. Who the fuck do you think you are? Well, stop asking me questions. I work on a don't ask, don't tell basis. I'm not going to run in and throw my life in your face to get you to turn to the way. Yeah. But if you ask, I'm telling you. And you may not like the answer. Now, these videos, yeah, this is me throwing my, this is the extent of me throwing my life in your face. But you can click stop at any time and mosey the fuck on down the road. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. One more time. <coughs> A fact, <laughs> you know? <laughs> But understand, I'm not going to stop walking this path just because it's a little difficult. Just because you can see it in some people's eyes that they just, they don't get it. And the reason why they don't get it is because they're fast asleep. You mean you give up all the goodness that comes with following the herd just to walk this path of spirituality? What do you get out of it? I get you looking at me like I'm some kind of fucking weirdo that's what I get out of it <laughs> I get to feel alienated because I know that almost nothing I say or do is going to convince you that I'm the one doing it right simply because if I'm in a room full of people say I'm at work there might be two or three Maybe I'll give go so far as 10 because the place I work now is pretty big. So there's maybe 10 other people that live life the way I do. 10. So in that kind of setting, it makes it, it yeah, it, it, it tests. It tests your integrity, your willpower. It would be so easy just to give in and act like everybody else. But it's not worth it. That's why I stopped hanging out with certain types of people. That's why I don't have certain people in my life anymore. Because my journey is more important. My journey is important enough that if I had to, I would move somewhere where nobody knew who I was and nobody knew where I was. Because, in my opinion, the journey is that important. Bear in mind, you get to come back with everything you left here with. So whatever level I'm at when I die, that's what I'm coming back here with. And don't get me wrong, I don't care how far along the path you are, you're going to keep coming back here till you're done coming back here. It's just, that's just the way it works. And 
I would like to get as far along the line as I can in one lifetime so I can shorten the amount of times I got to come back here. Because putting up with people that are fast asleep and telling you you're wrong for actively trying to maintain a wakened state, yeah, I'm, I'm done with that. That's why I never leave my house. That's why I don't make friends. People want to get buddy buddy at work. It's like, hey, you know, it's all good here, but after I leave, you you stay here. I leave all you motherfuckers here when I leave. <laughs> and that's not me. You better than me? No, I'm not better than you. I'm just not going to have the distractions and detours. I lived my life for 20 years with distractions and detours, and that's while I was on the path until it occurred to me that how can you be on the path and hang out with shady fucking people? Yeah, resonating with source, you're resonating with shady fucking people. And as long as you resonate with shady fucking people, you're going to attract shady fucking people. That's the vibe you're giving off. You have to not be around shady people. Well, I only have a couple of shady friends. No, no shady friends. Period. You have a shadow, you experience your shadow, does not mean hang out with shady people. And yes, we're put here to experience life, but you cannot have it both ways, because you undo the good work you've done. And then instead of moving down the path, you got to constantly walk it back to where you started undoing it, and then doing it again. How many times have you done the same stretch of road over and over, and you feel like, I'm just not getting anywhere. That's why you're not getting anywhere, because everything you do and then you undo it, and then you got to do it again, and then you undo it, and then you got to do it again. Hell is repetition. Why does this keep happening to me? Right there. That's why. Because you're drawing it to yourself, because you'd rather have a little bit of fun than continue your journey. One cannot serve two masters. in that sense you cannot cater to the ego well I want to be liked not everybody that changed the world was well liked look at Nikola Tesla died in relative obscurity because nobody liked his ideas because you couldn't monetize them He could have went, well, I just want to be liked, and made ways to monetize all of his inventions, but that's not why he invented them. He invented them to better mankind, not to make a fortune. I've read uh, excerpts from his life that say who, I can't remember who it was, I think it was Thomas Edison. No, it wasn't Thomas Edison. He did a bunch of work for this this company. And then the company was under scrutiny from working with Tesla. And so all these big other all this guys, you know, all these guys that were holding these liens on this guy's life pretty much were calling in their favors, calling in their favors, while Nikola Tesla's working for this guy. And so the guy goes to Tesla, and of course I'm paraphrasing, the guy goes to Tesla and says, you know, I can't afford to pay you. He says, Tesla says, you don't have to pay me, let's just get this done. And because they got it done, the guy ended up making a fortune, and Tesla had declined payment, just so the guy's company wouldn't go under that's walking the path. Integrity. Like I said, it ain't very lucrative, but it's worth it in the long run. It better be, because I go on the side of integrity every time. Every time. Not one time have I not stuck to my guns. I've lost friends 
and not just, well, I just won't come over no more. Just, I mean, angry, violent retreat from my life for sticking to the path. I've lost jobs. Because I know what I'm worth and I'm not going to put myself on the discount rack for anybody. Well, you work for me. Motherfucker, you don't pay that kind of money that I'm giving up at any part of me. I was making the equivalent of $19 an hour driving truck and I didn't let them treat me that way. Why am I going to do that for less than half of that? I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not. Because the path is that important to me that I put up with all of the negative aspects that go along with the path. And see, Alan Watts, what he was describing was more along the lines of if you open up your empathy, your empathic abilities, you're not just going to feel the extra love. You're going to feel all that extra pain, all that extra hate, all that extra whatever is in the immediate vicinity. I carry an emotional burden of everybody on this planet, separated only by language barrier. And even that can be gotten around in here. So that's a lot of pain that I get to listen to on a daily basis. And still, what bothers me the most is when all these sleepwalkers treat me like I'm doing it wrong because I'm not locked into that habit cycle of consume, consume, keep your mouth shut, keep your eyes closed, and you get to have nice things. I'd rather go without. It's just not that important to live an illusion within an illusion. You know, this is an illusion. The way uh, life is an illusion, and not the scientific aspects of the, uh, uh, everything being made out of light and sound, but the way we see the world, the way we're taught and told to see the world, that is an illusion. It's not just. You know, it's not just a building, it's an apartment building. And look at the pretty pastel colors. You know, it's, it is, it feels like a dorm is what it feels like. Everyone crowded into one fucking area, boom. Like, being a truck driver, you're not really afforded the illusion because you go, you're at the source. And the illusion is what's loaded into the trailers. And that's my job to take it to where it's going. So you can buy up your little piece of the illusion. Now the illusion within the illusion is that there's such thing as a luxury class. Where more money and more wealth and you don't got to lift a finger and everybody's at your beck and call and having stuff will fix it all. And that's, that's just an illusion within illusion. All humans are worth the same. If I'm only worth a penny, then all seven billion of us are only worth a penny. If I'm worth a billion dollars, every seven billion one of us is worth a billion dollars. Or seven billion dollars, or however much I said. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wow. Getting on to the 30 minute mark, folks. So we're going to have to call it. And, uh,. Yeah, that's, I, I hope you guys have a better understanding of why you can be on the path or spiritual or religious and life still sucks. That's why. For every two, there is a fro. I think of a, a lot, like a, a bunch of number twos with afros and every two has a fro. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh... If you enjoyed the video, or please go ahead and click the like button. You can favorite it if you want. But if you learned something, 
I mean, really learn something, or you want to come back and keep getting this information, or you just love the sound of my voice, hit the subscribe button and come back. All right? But until next time, you hang in there. <laughs>